What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 305 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series and on the last episode we won 3 out of our 3 battles taking us to 597 wins, 303 defeats, a 294 overall game differential let's hope to hit that 600 wins today and without further ado let's get underway with ball number Okay guys, on to ball number one, and we lead with the Jumpluff versus the Heatmore. Now this is a bit of a problem, because Heatmore often packs the Expert Belt. We're going to go Rampardos. We may have Focus Blast, which would also be a problem. Right, that's okay for me. We're going to go for a Rock Polish. We have Life Orb. Aquatail does too much, way too much damage. If he's Choice Scarf, he's definitely killing me this turn. We'll go for the Rock Slide. We'll go out on the Registeel, which is okay. Don't do too much though. And we can go for a Fire Punch here. Almost kill the Registeel. It's going to sell up his Stealth Rocks, and we can safely go for a Crunch. gonna protect interesting just to scout what move I went for I guess we'll go crunch again eat more gonna come in we can two shot it with crunch very nice and because crunch has a secondary effect we suffer no life orb damage this Rampardos is going to kill my opponent's team on the, on, until the moment where I miss a rock slide that's when it's going to go, like, that's when this match is going to turn around. Because I think Rock Slide's the best move here. It hits, it doesn't kill, and he's going to take me out with the high jump kick. That's okay, though. Did a very good job there. Hmm, 280 speed is a lot. Do a bullet punch though on Lucario. Let's go Lucario. And we'll go for the bullet punch. It should kill. Since I'm gonna mega evolve. <coughs> it does take out the whole lucha. Now we have a mega Lucario in. Neither of these can really do much. If he goes out in either of those. Actually, maybe not the um, Chinchino, because two hits may take me out. But he's just going to forfeit, and we're going to pick up a win in ball number one. What I was going to say there, if he goes down as Chinchino, may be able to take me out in two hits. So I can't go for a sword stance, which is what I was going to do if the Reggie Steel switched in. But that's going to be the end of ball number one, guys. Let's go into ball number two. On to ball number two, guys, and we lead with the Cress versus the Shaman. Let's go straight for an Ice Beam. Seed Flare we can take. Don't like the special defense draw. And we actually did exactly the same amount of damage. Well, that's interesting. So he's going Seed Flare, so I'm going Heraclass. And he gets a special defense drop, which sucks. But we are Moxie Life Orb. Let's go for a Mega Horn. It doesn't have Air Slash, which is good. And we should outspeed the Dragalge. But we don't have Earthquake. Which is unfortunate. What can Dragalge really do? It's going to probably go for a Draco Meteor. So I'm going to switch out into... Electrode, I guess. A good special defense. Still dies. You are choice specs, I think. Based on that damage. And we could try and set up with Absol. We could also set up with Gyarados. So if we go for a Mega Evolution. Actually, if we don't Mega Evolve, then we don't have to suffer the hit from the Shaman, the super effective grass type attack. Let's go for a Dragon. Let's go for a Substitute. Crudilly. 
That's okay. Now let's Dragon Dance. It's gonna Seed Bomb, which actually takes out my sub, which is a bit of a surprise. Now if we Mega Evolve, the, the Cradle can probably kill me, so I'm not going to Mega Evolve. Crunch does very little. Rock Slide is going to do a lot, and he definitely has Storm Drain. So we need to switch here. I think I just let Mega Gyarados go down. That almost takes him out. Two of those would have taken. But we live on one. Wow. Mega Gyarados. I should have Mega Evolved. I would have done so well if I had Mega Evolved. Uh, let's go for the Waterfall. It's a Zoroark and we take it out. Good. Good, good. And he is a Vespiquen, that means. Reshiram will go for a Waterfall on that as well. It's a 2 at KO, but he's just... He misses a Stone Edge. Why didn't you just go for any move? Any move would have killed me. Why did you go Stone Edge? The Gal just going to come in. We'll go for a Crunch. I don't think it'll kill. It does. Wow. Mega Gyarados is a god. How is it doing this well? I don't know. Obviously not going to kill the Shaman, but we do get a defense drop. Earth Power takes me out. So he's got two Pokemon left. Who do I go for? Heracross. Stone Edge should take both out. And it'll definitely take this out. We miss. That's unfortunate. We do it speed though. We miss again, and we're probably dying to a flying type move. Okay, he goes for defend order, which is an interesting strategy, because that's still going the one shot. Critical hit. Don't know if critical hit was needed, but we get the moxie boost. And is Megahorn more accurate? It is, but a close combat will take him out, so there's no reason not to go for a close combat. Take out the shaman, and we pick up our second win of the episode in battle number two, guys. Let's go on to the third battle of the episode. Okay guys, on to the third Val of the episode. Let's just go for a Bullet Seed. Don't see any reason really not to. It's a two hit KO if we get three hits. Good. Uh, I mean, it's a one hit KO if we get three hits. It's a two hit KO if we only get two. And he's going to forfeit. So let's do a fourth and final Val for today's episode, guys. Let's go on to that. Okay guys, final Val of today's episode. We lead with the Mega Absol. Let's go for the Mega Evolution and go for a knockoff. My hope is that he goes for that sort of thing. It was either that or Stealth Rocks I was hoping for. And Knockoff did just over half. I'm going to Sword Stance. Because then I should be able to kill next turn with the Knockoff. What is my opponent doing? Do they not understand Magic Bands? Uh, I think I'll just take him out at this point. So we got Stealth Rocks up on my opponent's side of the field, which is huge. Stealth Rocks are amazing. Too powerful in my opinion. I think they should change Toxic Spikes and Spikes, so they have the same effects as Stealth Rocks. So like, Spikes, which is a ground type move, is super effective against, ground, uh, against like electric types, for example, who will do damage corresponding to that, and the same with Toxic Spikes. Okay, a Watchhog. Do I want to go Super Power? I'm going to go Knock Off. It one-shots. Awesome. I think he was hoping to outspeed. I don't know why. It was quite obvious he wouldn't, based on the uh, max and min speed stats. Okay, we take out the Victory Bell. Maybe he was hoping I would underestimate him, go for a sword stance while the hypnosis is made to sleep. Okay, he's really clutching at straws here if he's going giraffe rig. Because we are super effective against that, we're going to take out the giraffe rig. This looks to be an Absol sweep here. Yeah? Drift limb, also going to go down to the knockoff. We take it out, and what's his last Pokemon going to be? 
His last Pokemon is a Mewtwo. Which outspeeds us. So I don't know why he didn't go out to that in the first place. If it has like Aura Sphere, it may critical hit and kill us. It may not need a crit. Yeah, why didn't he go out and make a Mewtwo X straight away? I don't understand my opponent's plan there. We are going to go Mega Medicham. Go for a Zen Headbutt. It won't one shot, but it'll do a decent amount, I imagine. It's gonna bulk up. We're gonna hit, we're not gonna do too much. It's very unfortunate. That's banded. I was expecting more damage. Okay, that means that regular Mewtwo should be able to kill. Is that a speed type? Does Mewtwo not gain any speed? We have a Mewtwo to go against yours. We'll go for a Psy Strike. He's probably going to win the speed tie. If we win the speed tie, we win. And we take out the Mega Mewtwo X, guys. And that's going to be the end of today's episode. We picked up all four wins to take us a five, to take us a 601 wins total. Still on 303 defeats. A 298 game differential will hopefully hit 300 game differential in the next episode. But if you've enjoyed this one, guys, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe as well. And from me, Corvus, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.